Yo, what's up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again. And today we're doing an old school workout video. I wanna show you guys my exact pull-up progression that I've used over the past 10 years to get insanely strong when it comes to pull-ups, one-arm pull-ups, whatever it may be. I'm capable of weighted one-arm pull-ups, multiple reps of one-arm pull-ups, heavy-weighted pull-ups, and I didn't just get there by accident. Everything was very systematic and programmed. So today, I'm gonna show you, once again, a progression that you can follow no matter where you're at in your journey. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So when it comes to getting stronger, you can't skip the foundations. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're at. If you're a beginner, you must be able to do at least 15 pull-ups in a row. That should be everybody's goal. If you're new to pull-ups, if you're new to building strength, without a doubt, you have to be able to do 15 pull-ups. Now, they have to be the right pull-ups. You can't just be doing any types of pull-ups. A lot of guys think that this, this counts. Nah, we need 15 clean pull-ups. All the way down, arm extended, chin all the way up. <laughs> 15, and it's actually not that hard to get to. All you gotta do is train the pull-up, whether it be normal pull-ups, even if it's low reps, negatives, even with a band, at least twice a week. Also make sure that you're at a decent body fat percentage. I've noticed whenever I lost weight that my pull-ups got a bit easier. So after the foundation, up next is when we get into the more unilateral variations. So my favorite one is the archer pull-up and its forms of that. This is literally what I did back in uh, 2015, 2016. So the archer pull-up, we wanna go wide on the bar, come up on one side, come up on one side. Now that was really like a pseudo archer pull-up. A real archer pull-up, you want that arm to be straight, locked out like that. But this bar really isn't that wide, so it's kind of hard for me to do. But at the least, you want to be able to come up one side, come up one side, and that's going to put more stress on one limb and thus progress you more to the one arm pull up, which is what we're working towards. So let me try to do the full archer pull up. And you don't gotta go crazy high rep, none of that. Just aim for about three to five on each arm that you're comfortable with, that you can do for multiple sets. And then that's when we can move on to the next progression. So the next progression, we're making things a little bit harder. This time we're gonna grab a band you can use a belt, you can use a t-shirt. I've used a towel before. Essentially what we're gonna do is assisted one-arm chin-ups or one-arm pull-ups. Wrap one around the bar, grab from the bottom. After doing archer pull-ups, you're gonna notice that's gonna be a little bit harder and that's fine, that's the point. It needs to be a little bit harder, but Biggest thing here is you wanna make sure that you match the reps on each arm. So if I did two on my right arm, guess what? I gotta do two on my left arm. And also when it comes to this, you wanna really practice the form leading up to the one arm pull up because that's what we're working towards. So as you come down, hold this. You wanna pull that opposite shoulder to the bar that's gonna train the movement pattern so that you can get stronger. Also throughout this time, whenever I was working on this, this is also where I started to do lighter weighted pull-ups. So attaching, you know, 10, 15, 25 pounds to me. At the same time, while working this, I wasn't doing heavy weighted pull-ups yet. This is still like sort of in my intermediate phase. So up next is the full one-arm pull-up. Now you're, you're gonna be able to do probably one to two reps of a one-arm pull-up if you're able to do at least about five assisted reps. And once you get your one-arm pull-up, that's when it's gonna be a lot more slower progress, a lot more difficult to bit out the reps from there. But if you follow that progression, you should be able to get it. Now, once I was able to do about two to three one-arm pull-ups, that's when I started training my heavy-weighted pull-ups. That's when you know I started adding 45, 90, my full body weight to my belt. And I created a whole video on how I actually train for strength on my weighted pull-ups, so be sure to check that video out. But essentially what I do is pretty much five by fives, five by fives, or even six sets of three, a lot of volume and low reps. If you're doing anything more than 10 reps on a variation, honestly, it's too easy for you. You need to switch something up. You need to add weight, change up the variation like I did. That's how we get stronger. And that's how we get to the point of eventually being able to do those weighted one-arm pull-ups, right? Because we worked the full one-arm pull-up progression. We got a few rest of the one-arm pull-up and now we're doing heavy-weighted pull-ups. So this is literally just a combination 
of strength in terms of progress when it comes to your pulling strength overall. So that was pretty much my whole entire pull-up history condensed within five to 10 minutes that actually took around three to five years of consistent training. So just understand that it's really not gonna come super fast. You have to stay consistent. You have to be able to identify where you're at, then from there make adjustment and changes. But if you are consistent, you eventually will get to a point to where maybe you're doing three plate pull-ups or four plate pull-ups. If you need more help with a systemized routine, don't forget to check out all my programs down below. We have a full bodyweight training program, also a weighted calisthenics program. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.